yo, 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 what up, man? It's in the booth. We live, man. It's your boy Messenger. It's your boy Ken Jones. Come on, Estelle Jones. Yeah, 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 yeah
No, no. Shoot dang. No. Darn no. it, dag nabbit. No, she didn't dag have to. Nabbit. Shoot. No, my mama was the first of all, let me tell you something like that. Uh, she ain't use the cousins? No, she ain't have to. Oh, mama, yeah. She didn't have to use the cousins, bro. Yeah. My, not my mama. My daddy used the cousins. Your uncle used, 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 used the, the words. <laughs> yeah. My uncle used the words, my daddy used the cousins. What's dag, the cousins? The dag gummit. Dang it. Dag gummit. Shoot. Shoot. Crap. Yeah. Shoot crap. Which one is? Oh, go yeah, crap. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. crap. <laughs> Your daddy say crap. Does it? Does he use it in the place where the yeah, cuss yeah, word should yeah. be? That would say that the cousins is like not the curse word. It's not profanity, but it's the cousins. It's like not the cousins. like it's a it's a strong, but it's not it. He it's like, like my, a possible. Like I got one in the possible. He, he playing the possible. <laughs> my daddy. My I told y'all this story. My daddy. Uh, we, we, he did pools. And um, they use buckets all the time with water in them. And they use these uh, trowels to make the uh, mud smooth. So on the end of the trowel, it's very, very sharp. So if you stick your hand in there and not paying attention, you know, a lot of times they would cut their fingers. Uh And uh, so that particular day, I was on the job. (laughs) And and Dad stuck his hand in the bucket, cut his finger. And he was like, (laughs) God! Then he looked at me and he said, God! To be more careful. <laughs> <laughs> that joke was, yeah. was hilarious. <laughs> but he looked at me like, like to, to be, be more careful. <laughs> That's good. But speaking of coaching, uh, my uh, auntie had a uh, birthday party, and Cherie showed up. Cherie. Uh, Elder Robinson's daughter, Cherise. At your auntie birthday party? Yeah, up here in Atlanta. She drove all the way up here and to, to sing something for, for her birthday. Now, she off the chain. Yeah, but she uh, she mentioned Thomas Temple Specials. <laughs> she said, yeah, and Ricky used to have that group Thomas Temple Specials. <laughs> no, that was my like, daddy. Yeah. Your yeah. daddy. Your daddy uh, played the horn or something? He played the sax. And my daddy. My dad, my uncle played the trumpet. And think your dad was Lee or something yeah, like that. Yeah. yeah. That's, That's crazy. But they all still remember that group. That's crazy. Wow. And they were teenagers. Yeah. Wow. The Thomas Temple Specials. That's funny, man. The Thomas Shout Temple Specials. Shout out to Coach Church of God in Christ, man. So, hey, hey. That more like a gang. You can't, you can't be uh you can't join in. You, you got, got to be born, born in. in. Yeah, you can't be a so, Baptist yeah, in no yeah. in no Thomas Temple yeah. Specials. Or you get jumped in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Coach, you get jumped in, boy. Okay. Yeah, you got to get, yeah. But, but shout out to the grand old, good old Church of God in Christ. Amen. Yeah. Well, we want to thank you guys for joining us in the booth today. Mm-hmm. Please like, share, and subscribe to the show on Facebook, YouTube, and all podcast platforms, including Spotify, Apple, and Google Podcast. I guess I just join y'all next time. Yeah, yeah do it right. on the beat. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Football about to start yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, so and if you, if you want to. Uh, subscribe. I'm sorry, sorry. sponsor oh, or advertise you, the show. You, <laughs> <laughs> if you want to sponsor or advertise the show, make sure you go to in the booth pod pod dot com. Cause you said football, that threw me off. Yeah, I, like, we we a lot. yeah I, I had a thought. <laughs> well, you, yeah, I had a but thought. But you brain dead no, about three seconds. I had a thought, and then you just <laughs> said football, that threw me off. You can't say you football can't say in the football. middle of my thought. Cause I started thinking of games, fantasy football points. I was thinking, <laughs> who, you just, week? Huh? Yeah. who you play this week? My wife. Which is oh funny. lord, I didn't do that. Yeah. You starting off. Yeah, fantasy football gives my wife first week. So my wife, gate. so world, so y'all know Ramona is our commissioner. And, and the champion of Honest last year's. So she's the commissioner, and she won last year's fantasy uh, football. Fantasy possible, football. yes. Championship, yeah, which is, it was uh, real. She was, and she was changing rules. Suspect. I don't change. Yeah. You know Sus- you can't change rules in the middle of season. You can't real change suspect. rules in the middle of season. I remember they wouldn't let me get somebody play or something for some reason. I was like, man. She wouldn't approve. For some reason. no re- you, you can't think of what it was. Yeah, she, she wouldn't approve. Wouldn't, uh, they, they, they was like, what'd they say? Uh, you can't do it. Hun, him and Dom or uh, Riri. Because I was, they, they somebody was already out of it, and I was like, let me get David. They, they oh, like, yeah. no. Well, you oh, yeah, you that. can't do it. See? You can't, Thank yeah, you. You can't do that. You can't bro. do that. What? That's cheat. How does cheating? If I, if I want to trade with them? They, they're not playing. They don't even play anymore. Okay, but I. 
No, it's a, you, they're you available. That, you saying that they had lost, like got out, like was like, not in the playoffs? Yeah, no, nah, nah, they they still playing, but they out of the running. They they won in uh, and they two gave or something. Up, which those and they gave up. So yeah, let anymore. me go. On. No, you can't do that. You can't do that. Y'all tried to block my stuff, man. So that's yeah. how I didn't get in the playoffs. Um, yeah. No, you you, you no, didn't get fired because no. your team. Sucked. No, no, no. My yeah, team yeah. didn't suck, sir. <laughs> oh, yeah, my yeah. team didn't suck. Yeah. Well, okay. this year's gonna be a good year. I'm gonna win it all. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and win it all. But okay. Yeah. But I have faith. It's good that 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 women are getting involved in um you know in football and stuff like that. I like that. I like the fact that my wife is the commissioner. She she reminds me every day I don't. that the draft is coming up. You better pick your team. <laughs> you know it's it's whatever Wednesday. It's <laughs> trade Thursday. It's yeah. not called it's, trade it's Thursday. It's release Friday. Friday. <laughs> I'm like man, I'm gonna be ready. I'm like the NFL need to give you a job because <laughs> you be. Be on it though. Yeah, she be yeah. on it because if it, if we were running the league, oh god, yeah. it'd be so un- organized. Yes, everybody have two players. It'd be yeah. all unorganized. Well, yeah, can't even auto pick. Everybody right. holding out. We ain't did no contracts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. whole team holding out. But it's good. Season don't start till October. Yeah, let me right. make a, let me make a prediction, world. I will win this year's fantasy football. I will win. Just not our league. Yeah, no, I'm going to win it yeah. all. Not, not, our not our league. I'm going to win it all. He'll win somewhere else. I'm going to win it all. Yep, I'm going to win it all. Because I'm going to take it. this one off of auto draft. Bam. Let's talk about that. What? All of y'all black well, people. Well, I told you. I had a football doing practice. Doing auto draft. I, 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 I don't I like that. I had a football that. practice. I picked my quarterback. <sighs> I gave every y'all day ample you gave amount of time. But still, every day to you got schedule, available. No, was I a told day. you a Monday, month, Tuesday, Thursday. Bruh. Those are practice days. Why you say yes that I could do that? <laughs> I wonder. I wonder. Uh, are there fellows out there that don't want their wives in certain parts of like their lives, like sports, like like baby? I don't want you in this part of Why my not? life. Why not? Because that's like, my time. I can. Like, I can like, imagine can you, that. Can you be? Can your wife be your assistant coach? At at. With, for y'all football team. Look at the face. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she can't coach. Wait, wait, oh. wait, wait. He just said, why not? <laughs> no, she he can be. I'm talking about he not. did say. No, I'm he saying, said, but you said coach, but she don't, she can't coach. Like, she don't coach. She, can coach. she, she got a fantasy football team she be beating you with. No. She can coach good enough. <laughs> she can coach good enough to beat nah, you anyway, on fantasy no, football. No, this is not fantasy football. I'm saying, she, why she can't? But, yeah, she, she, she don't know that, she don't know football like that. Like, I, she don't know technique. She don't know how to. Get somebody to learn how to block and bend and you all can that teach stuff. Her. I ain't got time to do that, bro. I'm here to coach, bro. Now she can do uh, the Julius. Oh, that's just that's wrong. That's in that. That's that in the world. That's so mad. wrong. That's no, you got the rest of the year to teach her, so she'll be ready for nah, the next. I'm season. saying, well, so I'm a tank a season. <laughs> no, no, no. And look bad, tank. so we can. No, I didn't say tank a season, a, but you can get her assistant. ready for. She's yeah. helping you. You can get her ready for the next season. She's helping you. I believe I can teach Mona the game and tell her what to do. You know, to think like me um, on the football field or basketball. I believe she could be my assistant coach. Okay, good. You don't think your wife could be <laughs> yeah, okay, good. <laughs> you don't think so? No. You don't have to fire y'all be. <laughs> that was a dope play. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be so arguing the whole way home. What was you doing? <laughs> I specifically said <laughs> run right, and you did a twins left <laughs> and start calling that plays. <laughs> and Cam in the back like, yeah. what is happening? She will understand. understand. Uh, hey, what about watch what it about, though? Watch it though. Watch it though. What about the other way around? Watch it though. Cam starting both ways. No favoritism. No favoritism. No favoritism. Okay. I told you he was betting them kids, and I said eventually they'll figure that out. Now Cam is did playing you say offense. Anything? You didn't say I ain't say nothing. I told you I wasn't gonna say nothing. He said, "No, he just mm. started playing. Mm. He just put him out. Cam was catching everything. They weren't. Cam could do got, routes. He was on defense first, and now yeah. he's on defense offense now. and defense. But I told y'all, I wasn't gonna say nothing about offense. But I knew he was better. Okay. Right. I was saying, it, 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 right, that, that's 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 the way I'm bringing him up. I like if you want it, you gotta earn it. Like, you gotta earn. Yeah, uh, ain't yeah, you, you ain't gonna say nothing to him. No, cause cause cause, cause if he, once he leave under me, ain't nobody gonna give him nothing. So let me train him now." Mm. Yeah, you, you're a different daddy than me. Yeah, that's the way I got to do I'd have been to everybody. Yo, listen, let me tell you something, yeah. bro. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> let, let me, this is how every season. Yeah, oh, I can't. Well, I, I because be like, what are what he going to do once he come from up under me and he got to go to the high school? He got to go off to college or, you know, teach him how to be the best, yeah. be, make the best man win now. So. Yeah, but but I don't, all, most sports, all sports, is about confidence. You know, you got to have some confidence first. And, and you got to be good. You got to be too. good. Yeah. 
But most of confidence that, and no skill mo- is air balls mo- jacked up. All the time. <laughs> I see confidence if with he, no skills. Yeah, if he out, if he out there, he's proving himself somewhere. Okay. So so if he's shooting air balls, he, he could be off. Yeah. But you still got to have the confidence to shoot. Yeah. Because I know I, I I've seen some great shooters. I've been a great shooter with very little confidence at the time and did not take the shots that I But I've seen take. bad shooters have plenty of confidence and wouldn't stop shooting. Right, Even right. when we said, bro, stop shooting, pass the ball. <laughs> and miss yeah, everything. Yeah, that, that's pickup games with you. I'm, so, that, I'm saying, you always I've that. seen confidence and no skill, and I've seen skill and no confidence. Yeah. You just got to have both of them. You got to have both of them. So yeah. most of the time, when I'm when I'm starting with my kids, if they're young, I'm, I'm trying to boost confidence. So I tell, I tell the coach coming in, I was like, that, that guy can run. He can really run. We're like, okay, yeah, yeah. And he always give me the okay, yeah, yeah, like, uh, everybody, every parent say that, uh, and then when he put them out there, he be like, "Oh, oh yeah, he can really run." Yeah. yeah, and so you know. See, I'm the opposite. I don't say nothing. No, I say everything. Yeah, I don't say nothing. I'm like, yeah. he, he'll see. Yeah, last week I was I was yelling and screaming. Yeah. Coach, run the ball around the end. <laughs> yelling. He's coaching. Yeah. Really. Run the ball around the end. They weak around the ends. Keep running the ball up the middle. Then he finally runs the ball out around the end. Touchdown. Okay. Then he runs the ball up in the middle again. Then he runs the ball around the end. Touchdown. Then he runs the ball up, up and then it's over. Game over. Mm. I'm like, man, it's all good. Mm. But my wife could have been my assistant coach, and we'd have, we'd have did good. Anyway, yeah. we got a great topic yeah. today. We, Get I, Tiff a chance. Huh? Let Tiff coach, a man. She, she a cheerleading coach. That's what she do. <laughs> she a cheerleading coach. That's Can what you do. be? An assistant chili dance coach. dad, yeah, I've, I've done that. So she, so you could be That's an so assistant rude. coach, but she can't. But she can. No, Dan, I'm talking about dance. She's the. I'm saying if you had to assist her with chili, what you know about chili? If you had to assist her in chili, yeah, I wouldn't be. Can you doing chili? You wouldn't. No, no. I'm not asking you. Would you do it? I'm asking you. Could you do it? Will you? Do you have the ability to assist her? As a coach, and chilling. <laughs> do you this. feel like you have the ability? Yes or no? <laughs> yes or no? Do you feel like you have the mental fortitude <laughs> to assist your wife? No. As a coach, you do not. You <laughs> you lie, <laughs> demon <laughs> troublemaker. <laughs> no. You say I you, got the. I, I can got, tell in your mind I that you feel like all, you got it, all my stuff go towards football, towards the field. You so if you feel like you had to help your wife one year. I she can help, help her, yeah. Yeah, I can help her. As an assistant? Yeah, I can help her. You feel like she, you can assist her as a coach? Yeah. And you don't feel like she can assist you as a coach? No. Okay, <laughs> so rude. All right, we'll yeah, now, now that assistance of a chilling coach ain't going to be much assistance, but I do what I can do. What, what, what? I mean, you feel like you you feel like you can figure it out? Huh? What, the jump? Kick your leg? Uh, it, ain't, it ain't nothing, huh? Scream? Yeah, it, 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 that's all of so me doing. no technique. No, no, no technique. Yeah. Well, okay. they don't really don't have that to practice saying, or nothing. They can just I, I, get out there I, and my, kick my and scream. My assistant just ain't going to be – man, we got to get into the show, man. No, my no this is the show now. So, I'm saying this, so you saying – It ain't going to be – I said, I made all sense, but it ain't going to be much as if you had somebody that did cheating before. I'm saying she can help you with football if you try. Yeah, she can help. She can help. Yeah, she can help. It ain't going to be much help, but she can help. How you going to say that? Because she don't know what a couple two is. You can tell her. Man, I ain't got time to break down you all do that. have time. Y'all live no. together. How you think no. you can find out? No. Over years of playing the no, position. No yeah. Ain't no over years. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> Football <laughs> is about positions. <laughs> okay. You stand here on a cover two. And you got to learn every position. As a coach. Man, we got to go. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. we don't. We gotta, no, no. Yeah. You just don't want to talk about nah, it. No, we got to go. Look. Teach that girl it's cover two. Okay. So today. Uh-uh. Cover two. We are talking. Cover two. <laughs> <laughs> gonna teach you cover two. We are talking, and then you got to teach you cover one, cover three, and cover four. four we three, got you. Stunts, got you blitz, four. all up. Weak side, strong side, Man, middle, your, your, middle your, linebacker. Your wife teach high school. Okay. Yes. Uh, she okay. Can, she can learn a cover two. Yeah. yeah for, for how long? Yeah, she's been teaching high school for a while now. Yeah, but yeah. but the kids that come to school and play usually in 11th and 12th grade are learning to cover two and one or two, three practices. See? Before the game. No. If they, they play, they're not if, learning. If cover somebody two, come no out in eleventh grade, two in, in doggone, if somebody, uh, if, if somebody grade, come out in eleventh grade, they've already played football for at least three, four years. But they don't know nothing about no cover two. Because I played, I played football all my life up until I was fourteen, and I never heard of a cover two. We played cover two. 
I didn't play no cover two. Okay, well then that's I'm from, I'm from Florida football okay, state. So, so, so we that, that's coach. Get your man. That's the coach. Hit the dude in front of you. <laughs> yeah, you can teach that's that. The, whoever got the ball, go get it. Yeah, that's that's God, the coach. This guy right here. That's how they talk. Yeah, that's cover coaching. two. Yeah. I'm like, cover two. You got kids. I'm like, cover two. Yeah. You know you know what cover two is to a bunch of kids? Number two, everybody's running after number two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cover two. Yeah. No. And, see, that, that and number three happen. got the ball. Yeah, that one, number that three got the ball. On they, the field. And they cover number two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you ain't say cover three. <laughs> yeah, no. See, that's that, that the problem we're running to. That's what I'm talking no. about. So that, that's what your wife would do? Huh? That's yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. You say your wife is running the problem. No. She ain't trying to run the problem. No. Yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, all right. No, no she can stay in there and just watch everything I do and learn something. And then when she get enough, then she could probably implement it to teach but maybe chilling in one you, position. You, you can help day one because you, you know what you're doing. It ain't going to be much help, but I help. Okay. I do what I can. Yes. Okay. If she asks me. All right, cover two. Like, I, don't, I don't know nothing about <laughs> dancing. Cover. I just be moving the props. <laughs> Put them on the, what's it called? I'm helping. You help? Yeah. But you could, t- you could tell who jumped last, uh, at late. You'd be like, hold on, man. Your jump is a little later than everybody else. You're okay. moving a little slower than everybody else. Okay. You know? <laughs> All right. There's one, there's one chili, the cheerleaders last week. Everybody jumping. And big girl rolled on the ground. You know what I'm saying? All right, now we can move on I to think another that was smart. subject. Now we can move on. Yes, thank you. She did. Now. Uh, All right, okay. so, yes, thank you. So T.I. Really? Is, yeah. is going viral yeah. over a video about uh, his son being arrested. King uh, kind of got in a little trouble with the law. Uh, and T.I. in the video kind of goes to let the public know, this is my child. I know him better than y'all. And this, that, and that. I've talked to him. I've... We done whooped him. We done did everything, and he turned it over to God. So, uh, this this the uh, just a small snippet of what he had to say, and uh, we'll just we'll, we'll just get into he it. Said he said he turned him over to God. Now he said, "Man, I'm gonna just let God, you know, handle it, handle it or whatever. I pray about it. Let God. So, we'll, let's just let you hear it, and then we'll go from there." A minor request. Turn it off, son. Got a minor request. Hope everybody having a phenomenal morning. Got a small request, man. Uh, stop hitting me and giving me my comments, telling me what to tell King, okay? I know my son. Think I ain't spoke to my son. Think I ain't told my son, his mama, and his grandmamas, his ass going to prison. If you got to keep this up, his ass going to prison. Ain't no way around it. Ain't nothing I'm gonna be able to do about it. He, he ain't going to prison now. Can't nobody stop it but him. Not right now. Yeah, you know I mean. Well, you saying he hit it that way. I've already had the conversation. I've already made my peace with it. Because I know that energy. I was that energy. Hmm. I know exactly how it's going to turn out. You can. Can I take a selfie with you? No, nah, go ahead. Please. You I'm, in okay. I'm in the middle of something. I'm in the middle of something. Go ahead. <laughs> this is my point. Take a selfie while he's yeah. on the line. Be yeah. sure to like. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. See the man talking yeah. in the phone. Yeah. So, yeah. I already had that conversation with him, man. King's a good kid, chasing after the wrong. And, uh, you know, I trust in God to deal with it the way that he see fit. You know what I mean? It ain't really shit outside. You know, he done got all the whoopings. He done got the pun. He done did it. He done, you know, did everything as a child you could do to him. So now he going to he gonna have to go through it. He going to have to go through it and get through it. Yeah. Hmm. Now, how old is he? He, uh, oh, King done got. I don't think King in his tw- 20s yet. How old is he? He's like, 18. Yeah, like late teens. Is he the oldest? He's not no. the oldest boy. Messiah is the oldest. Yeah. He's so he's the middle? Or the he baby? is in the middle next to Major. Okay. So it's the baby girl, then it's Major, then it's King. Then it's the other girl, then Messiah, and then the oldest girl. So it's three girls, three boys. He the middle boy. So at the Brady Bunch, he like Peter the baby boy. Who, who the middle boy at the Brady Bunch? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying, to, so I'm trying what, to make it make sense. What exactly did he do? I'm so that everybody who don't know what's going on. I don't happened? know what the, the situation. I know he had a situation with a Waffle House and getting in a fight with a cook or something like that. He had some kind of confrontation over there. I don't know if that's why he went to jail or whatever in this particular uh instance uh but it was just the comments is what i was looking at and how some parents were on one side and went 
a lot of parents, it was about dead even. What's the size? Like the size is, you know, well, you should try to, you know, uh, not let go of the child, you know, ooh, ooh, ooh. and then these certain parents was like, you know what, well, I understand where you're coming from. It's only so much you can do. A child going to be a child. They're going to do what they want to do. And, you know, you don't need to have a mental breakdown trying to keep up with what they're doing. If they want to do it, then just let them learn. Let life teach them mm -hmm. the hard lessons. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And this side was saying, you know, it was just going back and forth, and it was dead even. It was like a draw. It wasn't, mean, like, it wasn't like one side was saying this. A couple people saying it. It was basically a split. It, it, it's some, I mean, really, it's one and the same. You know, you, you're you going to continue as a parent to, to give advice, good advice, when you talk to your child. But whether they apply that advice is on them, you know. Uh, that's, that's, just, that's just people in general, you know. Uh, being a pastor, you can – I've learned that you can tell people – the scriptures you could tell, you could prophesy to you them. You can give them examples yeah. of you your life. You can give them examples, and, and you can give them the warning and they'll still, and, that and this they is going to happen. And they still, still do what they yeah. want to do. They still, and they, and some of them gonna blame you when they make the yeah. when they make when they make the decision. Yeah, you know, and and, and so, so people are gonna do what they want to do. Um, it's it's a man's, a man has to decide in his heart if he's if he wants to change or not. You can't do it for them. And I've tried to really, really do that for people, and it does not work. Well, you know, you really have to allow people to grow up. And, and even right now, man, I'm, I'm telling my wife, I'm, oh, man, I'm growing up. I'm growing up, man. I'm, I, I got to do different. I got to do things different than how I did them before. Yeah. Um, and it's not necessarily because I'm in sin. It's just that I want to mature and go to a different place, a different level, mm -hmm. uh, a different level in God. And so, I can't continue to do the same thing, uh, even when it comes to my time and 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 being a good steward over the time that I have. God has given me. I believe that God has blessed me with with a certain freedom that a lot of people can't handle. Mm -hmm. That that. Uh, you know, I live by the hustle code as far as just getting up and making your way prosperous instead of subscribing to another man's job or another man's opportunities. Of yeah, course, you know, people call us, you know, and put us on their platforms and stuff like that. I'm not talking about that. But but pretty much every day, I have to make make it happen for my family. You right. know, I got to go out there and 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 kill the deer, you know, as the lion. Uh, you know, I can't go to the store and just buy it already sliced up. I got to go make sure it happens. So with that, um, there is a certain amount of you got to be mature to do the things that you have to do. Looking into the future, you got to know that, hey man, this is coming up. I got to set this money to the side. I got to invest in this. I got to do. Uh, nobody's telling you this, but the Holy Spirit. Nobody yeah. and. and it's a, I wouldn't say it's a gamble because anything for the kingdom is gonna come back, but you you putting yourself out there, and so when you got a a responsibility, it's really really uh, tough to handle your time. Hand, when no when you don't have a boss, you got to you got to manage yourself, and 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 so a lot of people, a lot of kids, a lot of adults don't know how to handle their time. They don't, they don't know how to manage their emotions. They don't know how to manage what God has given them, and they get in trouble for it. And, and the world tells you, do what you want to do. Do what you feel, yeah, but they never tell you about the consequences. Yes. Yeah. Uh, they never teach you responsibility. Well, yeah. I think, uh, I mean, I feel, T.I., on the I've done all I can do part. Or, I don't or, think he's done all he I mean, I, 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 I'm saying I feel him on that position. Yeah. Whether he did it or not, I'm not really saying. But I, I, I understand. He said, like, well, look, we done whooped them. We done did the, the, the punishments and all that. Okay, cool. All right, well, you did that. Uh, the question, uh, you know, uh, uh, to me as far as the Bible says train up a child uh, in the way he should go, you know, my deal would be, especially with my children, is the training. You know, what am I training? What am I allowing? What am I allowing that may be a gateway to a certain, you know, lifestyle or a certain, uh, am I allowing violence? Am I allowing to hit each other, which 
will make them allow them to feel like they could hit somebody else in public, or am I allowing them to, you know, uh, you know, do certain things, talk certain ways, disrespect people in the, in the house, and then get outside the house and then feel like they can disrespect people out there. So I'm saying, my thing more just to me, and not you know talking about his situation, but just personally, is uh, just training my child in the house to the way to you know try to make sure that they conduct themselves outside the house and look for those things outside the house when they outside the house like manner manners all of those things I have, how, uh, how people, they address other kids yeah i have people come to me all the time about cam cam has the best manners of any kid i've ever seen he does he has he opens the door for everybody he will stand if you're on, in the parking lot and you got a bag in your hand and you across he'll sit and hold it and the parents will, uh, people come to me and say hey that's your son Man, he yelled at me. I was way over there, and, and people always come to me. Uh, being Macy's, he'll get he'll be in the uh, shoe department. He'll give up his seat for a lady. Said, oh, thank you. I, I'm I'm going out, but thank you, sir. He's so you know. Mm -hmm. But I that's what I look for. After I teach you in the house, I start looking for what you do right. outside the house to make sure that it's applying. Right. And I feel like uh, as a parent, we have to do that in the training so that. Um, when you're, when you're raising up a child, look for not just after you yell at them in the house, it's how are they applying it once they leave? Because that's really what they're growing up into is what, they're, what they are outside. You a whooping daddy? Absolutely. To yeah. y'all whooping daddy, he said I don't whoop. <laughs> I don't think the whooping was a problem. So in this situation, like <laughs> if you were in his shoes and you're at this point, you got an 18-year-old that's in jail or about to go to jail, what would you do different? Like, what would what would be the next step instead of, mostly, okay, I put my hands up, I'm done? Yeah, mostly at this point, it almost partially is what it is because he's 18 now. He's like 17, 18 years old now. He's age where he can go ahead and leave the house and, you know, because once a child leaves your house, then it's really you just praying that, you, you know. You think he's still in the house? I do. Uh, yeah. I think he still lives yeah. with his mom. His yeah. mom got yeah. a huge house. We used yeah. to live right off the corner from. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, I don't, I don't. Oh no, they got uh, Damani. That's the other boy. They got four boys. Damani yeah. is a rapper. Which one came to the house in the uh, golf cart? Ooh. Talking about he was gonna play ball with the kids. Uh, that was probably him. Wow, it probably. Yeah, was probably him. was him. So, so, um, I think uh, you never. Give up on a child. A Eighteen is yeah. the world's uh, uh, age of maturity. Yeah. But I don't think there is an age of maturity until you mature. Mature. Yeah. Um. You, you know. Paul didn't so, give an age. He said, "When I became a man, I yeah. put those." We don't know if becoming a man is sixteen or thirty-one. He right. just said he didn't say when I became eighteen I put childish. Right. He said and when then, I became a man. And in Jewish I culture, put, that yeah. number is twelve 13, or thirteen. Yeah. 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 And so, you know, they esteem. It's when you're able to handle adult things. Right. Yeah. Right. And so I, I, I feel like, uh, that's why I say I'm still mature. I'm, st I'm still maturing, you know. I'm still working on it. You go to my house right now, my grass is high. You know what I'm You're saying? Not supposed to tell it's just certain things that are, you know, that don't move me. You know, I'm immature in the grass cutting area. The grass cutting yeah, area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll be like, man, this joker right here need oh to be ashamed God. of himself. <laughs> and I'll be like, I don't care, you know. And, and so I'm, I'm maturing. I'm maturing in certain things. Um, I, but I feel like when you have a child, uh, lovey is about to be. 18 next month. Oh my God, I can't believe I just said that. Yeah. Yeah. 18 next month, bro. And we just took her to um, SCAD to do a college visit. And the Lord was just telling me while we was looking around, she loves it. And I love it for her. And he just, he's like, you just gotta let, you gotta start letting her go. Mm -hmm. Start letting her go. You just gotta start letting her go. Just trust her. Trust the training. And, and, That's and, what you doing. Yeah, and let her go. Yeah. And so, you know, uh, you know, I'd be like, you know, anyway, I ain't gonna even say that. <clears throat> um, just training her, but trusting God, trusting uh, her maturity, and uh, you know, and trusting everything. Is that, that, that we put difficult in. with a girl? Just what? period. Just just letting go. Letting go. Boy, yes. For me, uh, for me, I, I. I think the hardest thing for me was drive the driving part, to let her drive on her own and go and. Cause you, you know, you want all your ducklings in the house well, with you, just, you at all times. So used to just everybody being around. Yeah. And, so and, now and, she's independent. 
Yeah, that that part was hard. And when you go through loss, like you know, like mom, dad, yeah. everything you love, you clutching on to. Right. You know, you, you you just you just you know, and I and I didn't realize how hard you know you you ever been holding something hard. Mm. And then like realize the later in on, the video? huh? Like the dove in the video. Yeah, like the, the man. Pillow. If I had, if I had wings, <laughs> like a dove. Yeah, he, <laughs> he's just holding something hard, and you don't, yeah. you don't really realize. know yeah. how hard you hold. Yeah. Uh, 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 you know, uh, it was uh, men's first game. They start fighting in the stands, mm. and I grab yes by the neck, and 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 trying to direct him. Uh, uh-uh, uh, you keep walking. Uh, uh-uh, uh, uh-uh. Styles, go. You know, yeah. and we getting out of there, and then you know, cause we didn't know what was going on. People just start, oh my God, just start a uh, chaos. Uh, uh-uh, we getting out of here. And uh, by the time everything had settled down, <laughs> I realized <laughs> how hard I had, you were holding. I had the back of that choker neck <laughs> so hard. <laughs> I had the back. <laughs> you know, choke yourself. I was, I was, I was clutching his neck <laughs> so hard, and I was like, oh man. <laughs> and so you don't realize how 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 hard you holding on. Until you know it come to you, and and so I, I I realized, man, how clutched I had Love Jones, and so the Lord just telling me, I I gotta, you can let go. We did well. That's yep. what God was telling us. We did great as parents. You gotta let her let her go. She's good. Yeah, now, I she, think uh, she's gonna have roommates her freshman year. Now her, the only uh, thing we probably didn't do well at is having <laughs> her to clean her room. Yeah. Lord, she's been by herself. Oh my god, yeah, all she, her life. She's been by yeah. herself. Yeah. And oh my God, her room right now, Jesus. But I think uh <laughs> like death close to you makes you do that. Um Yeah. No, because I when that, when yeah. a, when Elena past at nine years old I clenched onto my kids like never because it just made me like yeah life is so fragile and it made me it's just life is just so different yeah, yeah. I just stare at my kids sometimes like yeah. man yeah life is a gift they just be playing or you know just walking by and I tell them come here and I just stare at them yeah, yeah. I just look him in the eye. Like, what, hug. daddy? I'm like, just stand there. I'm, I'm, I'm a hugging daddy for yeah, no reason. Yeah. I'm going to come, I'm going to bring you in, give you some candy for something yeah. you didn't do. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you a lollipop, you know, out the blue. So I know it's yeah. going to be hard for me. I already oh, know yeah, that. Yeah, it's gonna be yeah hard. you're going to cry. Yeah, yeah you're going to cry. I don't know if I'm going to cry. No, you're going to cry. No, I don't cry. You're going to be like, listen. I, barely, I want I, you to do good. <laughs> no, no, no. You're going to catch your kids. That's you. Yeah, you the oh, weeping. I already know. I'm yeah, you the weeping prophet. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. I'm going to go in there and cry. You Jeremiah. The weeping prophet. You Jeremiah the I'm weeping gonna prophet. I'm going to go ahead and cry. Yeah. I'm, I'm, it is what it is. Yeah. And I, I, I'm like, man. And I keep saying to myself, where did the time go? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And when Free Life, see, when Free Life started, it's, it's like, God pressed the fast forward button. Yeah. Like, she everything just started? started. She was 11. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She went through the whole, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and and that thing just went. I was like, oh, my God. This junk is so, like, we're here already. I'm yeah, looking I at Yus. Time. Like, Yus wasn't even born and when so, we started church. And so when you have now kids. So as a parent, yeah. so as a parent, when do you stop discipline a child? Like, when does it go from stop? Or, or, bro, you need to consider the, your the talk, right? The, the mature talk. What, when does it go to when they hear the talk? You're in my house. Uh, it's a, like, it's, I don't know do if it's an age. That, do you have that talk when they're still in the house? Like, if they, if your child is still in the house, are you still giving them orders, mm-hmm. or are you having that mature talk? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Is the mature talk for for when they moved on out of your house? Because if you're giving them the mature talk. In their in your house, then you're you're kind of saying that they have the option to do what you say or not. Yeah. yeah. But in my house, you got to do what I say. Yeah. So I mean, Some, if they're 18, 19, 20 still in your house, how's the conversation? Uh, we, you know, I don't care how old my child is. If they in my house, they got to be in by a certain time of night. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's 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 you're under my rule. So you're under my. Yeah, I'm a lot. I'm a lot that dope. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then you got to come in the next day morning when the day. Yeah, yeah. yeah when the, you got. Yeah. I think the difference is I think about Kirk Franklin and how he dealt with his situation. Like, Ti was very calm, but Kirk, Kirk Franklin, Franklin went in. But, on but you his knew son. Kirk he was came built after up. The, he, yeah. yeah, and the, and the Kirk, kid Kirk came was after, after Kirk. Yeah, there, this was years of toxic, uh, toxic. Yeah, Kirk was like, "You mother, yeah. I will do what. You don't you ever." Put my foot up, y'all. Kirk 
work with Ian. And but, I think because he was an adult too. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's the difference. Like, yeah, he, he was, was thirty three. His kid, son was yeah. thirty three. Yeah, yeah. So you that, talk to that, them that's different. That's different than somebody's eighteen and kind of stealing your and house. I've, and I've dealt with man, manipulating loved ones who who try to make you look a certain way in public. Hmm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And so that's a tough. That's real tough to deal with when you're dealing with a child. Uh, that you love, and then that child bites bites the hand literally that feeds them. You know, like come on, bro. Uh, all that, and I. There are people that I've given a lot to, I've stressed over, I've tried to help, and they just don't get it. You know, yeah. so. Uh, we got know, some parents chiming in on 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 the on the live chat. Miss Reese says, uh, "Like not gonna lie until you." Uh, not gonna learn until you fall, she says. Basically, you're not, you're not gonna learn until you fall. I do what? Uh, do I ever want my child to fall? No, but uh, you not listening to me, uh, then how else can you get it? It's like she, she. I guess she's saying the not, fall is gonna help you learn. Not with everybody, but I, I, some I, people. I don't yes. think you have to fall to learn. Yeah, you can I learn. Don't, I, I don't have to get you, shot. You don't have to, to know that yeah. getting shot will kill. I'm saying you don't have yeah, to, but I after you teach somebody else. Fall. Yeah, but I'm saying after you I think, teach. I think, yeah. after, after you teach and like you if you say don't, don't touch, listen. yeah. If you don't, if you say don't touch the stove, and you remember, you know, some things make you almost want to reach out and touch it. Yeah. And some of that stuff, it, sometimes in life, that's almost the thing that is the lesson. So, 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 are you the parent that say, listen? Let me teach you this lesson. Give me your hand. Put it on the stove. No, 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 no. Okay, no. not a lesson. Don't no, touch I'm that. Say, not. I'm gonna say. <laughs> I'm gonna say. But I'm saying after my after my parents said don't, that that's hot. I've touched the stove. You know what I'm saying? You 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 that time? Yeah. No, I, I trust. Yeah. Yeah. So you 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 gotta find out by yourself for yourself. Not necess- Not in all things. I'm just saying it's like you the one that touched the stove. You was a hard headed child. And some, yeah, yeah, but yeah, you were too. Yeah, yeah. No, I wasn't. No. I <laughs> what listened. did this kindergarten teacher I, say? I was more so. What did kindergarten was, teacher say? I was more so sneaky. What? No, okay. That was a little bit. I was sneaky. What's the difference? No, no. Sneaky. You, you can't sneak. Who told Put you to sneak? Put your hand on the. On, okay, on, but I'm saying, who, who told you to sneak? I'm saying, you sneaky hard-headed. is hard headed too. That's, that's, that, that's different. <laughs> no. no, sneaky means you didn't say I couldn't do that. No, you, sneaky means you hide you something said, so you know you couldn't do you, it. Yeah, yeah, but they never said it. That's hard headed. Yeah. No, no, hard headed is. You blatant. Okay, but if you sneaky you would need me. to be sneaky if they didn't tell you not to do it. You sneaky nah, nah. because they you know not to do it nah. and you did it anyway. I probably knew, like if you sneak in the house, I probably knew you, not to do it, but you ain't say it. That's it's, hard-headed. No, 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 no. Like, hard-headed. Okay, they're in the same category. Yeah, yeah. They probably brothers. Okay. But they, what they're they're brothers. Brothers. Yeah. Because <laughs> sneaky, yeah. to me, you're gonna get a whooping for both of them. No, yeah. sneak hard-headed. See, sneaky, sneaky, hard-headed is is you just belligerent and I'm gonna do it my way. Sneaky is you nice <laughs> and you respect. <laughs> you gonna get a whooping for both of them? Maybe. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely. You gonna, gonna get a definitely. You gonna man? I found Capri See, Suns. Got- I'm gonna tell you, what, I found Capri Suns chips, uh, 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 all stuff behind my little uh, thing in the dining room. Cause KK <laughs> <laughs> come in now. KK. <laughs> and drink all the junk, but they all back there. <laughs> and I had the exterminator come cause we got roaches. He pulled the thing back. He's like. <laughs> and he leaving chips, stealing the bag, crumbs on the floor, and it's just a bunch of back there. I'm like, bro, that's sneaky. That's sneaky. And that gives a whooping. It does. Yeah. As opposed to just eating it in your face and leaving it in the front. That get a whooping too. That's, that's they hard head. Okay, but they, they, see, see, they, they, one ain't better. I'm see, saying, you get a whooping. One you, is hard head. You, you one, said, well, I ain't hard head. I'm sneaky. Like no, that you was hard better. Head. I'm saying you said it like it was better. Like that's a step up. What I'm saying is you they hard both head, the same. I'm, I was sneaky. But they're both the same. <laughs> you was hard headed. That's like me saying, "Oh, you sneaky," but I was hard headed. Like that's that, that, that better. You was rebellious. No, I wasn't rebellious. Yeah, yeah. both need whoopings. No. All need, right. You got a lot of whoopings. Man, yeah. How <laughs> they get a lot of whoopings, bro? In your family, because you were sneaky. No, in your family, <laughs> where did why. you rank in the whoopings? Like, like who oh, got I the most whoopings? Of, uh, you got the most whoopings out of everybody. Yeah. By the time my parents got the Can- uh, Candace and Kirk. They was worn out, man. <laughs> I told you, my daddy said. They were worn out on you? Yeah, you know, not on me, Eric and Angie. I told you, my daddy said we got grown. What? He said, man, we did whoop y'all too much. <laughs> <laughs> I was so mad. I was so mad. So, me, the first batch, my, me, Erica, me, and Andrew were like the testing dummies. And then they figured out by the <laughs> time the they got dummies. the Candace and Kirk, okay, the balance of whoopings. Us, it was just whoop for everything. 
Man, I went to Florida. Uh, went to, uh, Is it punish? Man, no, it punishment whooping. But yeah, I wish I got I wish I got timeouts and punishment from this. Yeah, give me that. Yeah, bro. I got whooped. It was it was. I, I think the the most whoopings out of in our family was my sister Carmen. We call her Lissa. Lissa then Kiki. Then me. No, Lissa Kiki Ooh. Tut. Then me. Then Danye. Yeah. Yeah, Reg- Danielle didn't get whooped at all. R- Regina says, Sneaky is being hard-headed in private. Come Ooh, on. that's good. That guy got to hit the bell up. No. <laughs> Sneaky. That's, is being hard-headed in private. That's good. That ain't, that's. No, okay. that's, that, that's, that's, that's dead on. Yeah, but what happened was. Uh, you don't, <laughs> now that's what I'm just saying. You don't find out. You didn't find out <laughs> until later on that he was sneaky. But still, that's you. You were being hard headed just in private. I'm hard headed. Okay. No, I was hard headed. Yeah. Okay. No, I wasn't hard headed oh, as a kid. Oh my god. You were sneaky. I was sneaky. Okay, that's that's uh, hard headed. But, in but private. I was very respectful. Just just sneaky. Yeah, and most of the sneaky respectful. stuff. It, I don't know. See, sneaky people goes were in you between the lines. It's like no. it's like it's like. Were you hard headed? No. You better be you in the house. Baby? Look, look. You better be, be in the house at all. Here's sneaky. So you just jump off the roof. That's, they didn't say I couldn't, though. Here, here's Sneaky. Check out Sneaky. <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh. If your mama said, you better be in the house by 10. I'm in the house by 10. I just go back outside after that. See, mm-mm. that's hard-headed. That is hard-headed. No, no, that's you not need hard-headed. That, that is right hard-headed. Now for that one. I'm obedient. That's hard-headed. I, I'm, I'm doing what she didn't say. No. <laughs> here's hard-headed. Sneaky is here's hard-headed. coming no, sneaking here's hard-headed. in your window at 11. No, that's here, Sneaky. Here's hard-headed. Here's hard-headed. Be in the house by 10, and then you come in at 11 and get, and get killed. Okay, but Sneaky is coming in the house and sneaking in the window at 11. Sneaky is, sneaky is worse being than. in the house at 10, but she didn't say I couldn't go back outside. That's No. Sneaky is... <laughs> is, is, is That's is, what Sneaky is. I hate that. Sneaky is... And a lot of y'all who listening... No, nah, <laughs> Sneaky is... You're sneaky unto the Lord. It is... Uh, uh, <laughs> sneaky unto the Lord. Uh, Sydney and Kid on Kid and Play, when they were sneaking at uh, her house after the party, and he had to sneak out the back door. That's Sneaky. Yeah. But that's hard headed too, cause they know what they do. They knew they was wrong. They knew they was wrong. Yeah, that's so you got a sneaking. double portion. That, I got a uh, double yeah. portion. <laughs> you sneaky and hard headed. You go in, you you be obedient, and then you go back that, outside. I, I will whoop you twice no. for that. <laughs> yeah, you get two whoopings. Yeah, that, yeah that's two whoopings. Yeah. Wow. You sneaky and you I disobedient. Did what you say? No. I came in. You know better. You didn't say I And you snuck back out. You know better. Yeah, you snuck back out. Because you, because you know better, but did you I didn't sneak back out. You, but you should have known. Did you sneak you back out? No. No, I ain't never sneak back out. I'm saying, no. I'm saying, you said you went back out. Do you sneak back out? Or do you go back out? Yeah, I didn't sneak back out. No. In front of your mind. No, no, no. You can't walk back out. They watching you. She's going to throw a shit you. Man, you sneaking back out. Yeah, you sneaking back out. Hey, mom, I'll be back. I'm just going to go back to no, I ain't never do that at all. Man, my mom would have broke my arm and beat me with it. But I can't do it to the Yeah, bro. No. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'll be a good chap. Yeah, man.